I think in, as we look for postdocs, we're, we're looking for those leadership qualities, right, and those um, aspirations of our cohort that will be the next generation of energy lead leaders. And it's, and it's both in the skills that the postdocs bring, technology, economics, business, policy skills, but also where, um, where we hope to launch those folks into the ecosystem of energy to really make progress. And well, one other thing that uh, I think it's an important skill is being able to uh, engage with external partners and network with uh, folks beyond the university. And I would say a lot of graduate students and in, in the law school as well, um, you know, are very focused on their studies or their work in their laboratory, right? And so partly what this fellowship hopes to promote is people um, gaining the skills to, to actually network out there with the broader uh, ecosystem that's working on this. And that's important. I mean, it's one of the exciting things for me to be teaching at a university like Stanford is to um, really think about how do we grow that next generation. And I think this program does that um, in spades, right? We really uh, look for people who will be, go out there and, and take a leadership role and um, and looking for those qualities of wanting to innovate and being uh, entrepreneurial and and a bit not afraid to take risks to step out there and be a pioneer. I think those are the kind of leaders we want to look for in the next generation. I think it's very important. And I'll just give an example from the uh, area that I work in. So as a, as a lawyer and a, and a, and a policy person. Um, w one example is rooftop solar, right? So that is something that the um, uh, that we saw the, the technology advance incredibly and the costs fall dramatically over the last 20 to 30 years. So you ask yourself, well, why doesn't everyone have rooftop solar right now? And why doesn't every household have it? And um, the, the answer lies partly in the uh, policy challenges and the human and institutional behavioral challenges. So for instance, the large um, regulated utilities they may not want that to happen, or to ha they may have a business model that it, it, it doesn't work as well with. You have the public utilities commissions across the country in every state that are regulating uh, electricity pricing and how that all works with the grid, and so that could be a barrier there too. I'm looking in California at um, permitting as being potentially a problem, local permitting, how long it takes to get a permit. So there are all these barriers that both institutionally and just human behavior wise um, that we need to think about as as uh, t technology takes off and those really need to be be part of the equation and part of what we hope in the program here to expose our 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 postdocs to is that range of interdisciplinary concerns that um, that anyone working in the space who wants to make progress needs to think about